All right, I wanted to do a, a quick through on uh, back to Eden Garden. I've been gone for almost uh, three weeks, and uh, I just got back here today. I really haven't done anything to this except for look at it. Uh, I moved some of the vines around. That's about it. But uh, here's some of the stuff I just got above ground. You can see it. It needs some water and attention. Uh, in the archway here, those are doing pretty good still. And we actually even have a few little things growing, starting to grow on there. So that's kind of neat. And uh, there's a tomato plant that I never got planted before I left. It's actually doing halfway decent. Yeah. Uh, over here, it's more of the, these are the cucumbers. These are the ones that I went ahead and started getting strung up. You can see that coming up the vine here, I'm starting to weave it in and out. That one over there, see it. And I mean, these are doing decent. They're not like booming or nothing, but not too terrible. Uh, I drew some artichokes. I've never grown them before, but I'm assuming this is how they're supposed to be. Plant them right down the center, and that's where all the growth is. Uh, now, these uh, zucchini and squash. They're all, they were planted, the seedlings the same day, and they were put in the ground, transplanted the same day. You can see what size they are down here. Now this box, you can see they've just went insane in here. We don't have any, well, looks like we got just a little guy there. There might be a couple other ones if we really go through it. But... I mean, these things are huge compared to, you know, the size of these in general. I think down there's going to be the same. Yeah. I mean, just huge difference. And uh, this box, the soil I got was from the out in the field. And out here in the field, I just went out there and got, took some scoops of topsoil, you know. And that fill these boxes and it's made that big of a difference. Uh, the potatoes are in here. Yeah, our chickens decided to lay the eggs in this little box too. Potatoes are doing pretty good. So that's not too bad. But then, you come in here to the stuff in the rows. Somebody's playing in the dirt. Yeah. We're getting here and these guys just and I've already put some uh I think it was blood mill on them they're just they're itty bitty you can see something's getting a hold of these all the way down this is starting to do okay and uh didn't really do much watering or anything nobody did while I was gone yeah, they're supposed to be, you can barely even see them with watermelons. I mean, these things have been in the ground over a month now. Uh, around the edges here, there's some more tomatoes. That tomato in the, it's just in the pot where I was starting them, is three times the size. Here's some more of these. So, I don't know if it's the soil, or what's in the soil, or if it's too compacted or what but these look kind of stunted to me but as far as weeds go with the back to Eden garden method I mean, we got a few little things poking through there and a couple other I mean literally just pull it out comes right out not really much to it so, I mean, even after three weeks, usually uh, I'll leave and come back and this thing's just covered. So I'm not mad about it. I'll be able to get this back going pretty pretty easily. Hey, there's some more. Well, that thing's got one, two. This one's got one. Another little one. So, now I might start training these up this 
all in all, I'm happy with it. A lot more than we've ever had in years past. Because usually whenever I leave it, it just goes to crap really quick. And those look like they might turn out pretty good if I keep training them up. So there's my second video, a little update on uh, first year doing the back to eating method. And uh, we'll see how it goes in another month or two.